Karan, uh, my name is Amar Jyoti. I'm talking to you from Edmonton. How are you? I'm doing good, sir. How are you, sir? Good. I like your name. Aaron is a name from Bible, and Bible is my favorite book. I read about uh, Bible a lot of times when I need some inspiration and guidance. And I I remember Aaron is a character in Bible. You do you know who Aaron was in Bible? Yeah, of course. It's the brother. He's the brother of Moses. That's right. He's the brother of <laughs> Moses. You're right. Absolutely right. Uh, are you in uh, Kerala? Uh, no, I'm in Hyderabad right now. Okay. And yeah. uh, tell me about your, yourself because I think you, I remember having talked to you uh, or you asked me some questions some, some time ago about spouse visa. And now I think you got the spouse visa recently. Yeah. 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 I just got it today. Like, uh, okay. uh, yeah. Just, so I just got it today. And the thing was like I apply, my spouse is in Canada. She's in she's in Canada from since 2016 onwards, and yeah. and she was doing her uh, nursing course over there. And in September 2019, she went to Saint Lawrence. She got admission into Saint Lawrence, and she started her postgraduate studies over there. Yeah. So now I was looking. We got married recently, like in uh, May 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I got married in May 2019, and our plan was to move to Canada as soon as like as soon as possible. But since we found out that you know there's a lot of restrictions going on in Canada, a yeah. uh, lot of restrictions. Like they 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 dig they, they dig deeper into your application, yes. and so I, so I saw all of the, I recognized those things, and I and I gathered these documents that are being required for the spouse visa. So I did not go to any consultant. I did it all by myself. And last, uh, I just I just submitted the document on September the 19th. Yeah. And today I got the visa. So it's almost just a fortnight or 14 days. You can say that I got the visa. I always so, like, tell I always tell people there's no need to go to any lawyer or consultant for simple applications, and especially people who are knowledgeable. Uh, in reading about it, maybe using the computer, maybe do their own IT uh, online applications. Uh, there is absolutely no need to pay any money to any consultant. Absolutely, it's not because it's straightforward given in the website of CIC. As well as if you, if they, if anybody watches your videos, they get a lot of examples from there. I think that's the major source. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing else more than that. I mean, yeah. nobody else makes uh, makes so many videos on YouTube. As much as you have made, and with uh, with a lot of examples over there. I mean, there are ocean of examples. It's, it's a it's an ocean over there, and a lot of examples. You can you can hear from everybody, everybody's experience, and from there you can make out your documents, whatever you need. So I got it from there as well. So well, I was pretty fast forward on that. I have I have many, I have many people to thank you for this experience. Number one, I first of all want to thank you that you are a good student, you could see those videos and you could grasp something that is of concern and relevance to you. And and then you put this to your own advantage. Uh, I also thank YouTube for making this possible through the technology because believe it or not, a few years ago, I did not even know what YouTube is. And today YouTube is a platform which is connecting you to me and other hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people like you who are connected mm -hmm. and benefiting by these videos. Uh, yeah. And, and I and I feel very uh, privileged by this uh, by this role assigned to me so that I can help a number of people at the same time. And uh, people are getting visas on a daily basis. I don't even, uh, you know, keep track of how many people are watching and how many calls just like yours. Uh, I receive on a regular basis of people getting advantage and not only in spouse visa, but also in PR application, yeah, PR, yeah. in uh, other humanitarian refugee applications. I was talking recently uh, about the potential refugee applications and uh, people are getting advantage. So I, I really appreciate your your participation and, uh, and, and, the, and the things that you have done. Uh, plus, I also feel uh, also uh, grateful about 
you know that the work that we do, the work and then mm -hmm. the, the discussion that we do is really helping people change lives. And today you've got the visa. Uh, very soon you'll be flying to Canada. You're going to live with your wife. Uh, and then you are starting a new new page in your life and starting a new household and other things. Uh, all everything is coming together through this through this medium. So I I, I value your your feedback greatly. I mean, like it's uh, we can say that it's a team. The team that has a team like we do it. Like when you listen to somebody who is who is giving you a valuable valuable advice, and you take it in the right way, you get the right answer for that. So like uh, in this, I never, I never faced an interview for this. Like I never did. You are, you are a smart, you are a smart fellow, Aaron. Let me tell you this: you have been married uh, in uh, May of 2019, I think. Uh, yeah. You said, and uh, married for close to five months now. Five, five months, months, yeah. Five, five months. months now. And uh, you were not questioned. You were not interviewed. They did not ask you anything. The typically the the cases. I get approached by people from all over India, especially from North. Uh, the people who have been refused one time, two times, three times. I I have cases which have been refused five times, six times with the same visa, the same visa mm -hmm. that you applied to got in 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 two three weeks. Uh, I get I get requests from people all over you know all over the world actually people who have been refused. So uh, I I understand the frustration. Uh, both the applicants face and also the visa officers also face frustration in understanding how how is this marriage genuine because they, when they see a set of documents and see a set of facts and, and circumstances of the marriage, they see a lot of problems that, you know, why is this marriage now? How did she go and why is the husband going now? And, and then they, they have to determine the bona fides of the marriage and, and decide yes or no. And many often they get refused. But in your case, yeah. I, I think you are a smart. Uh, I, I said earlier, as a smart student. Uh, it's, it's, it's not about smartness. It's it's all with your advice and everything, sir. Because because what you advised to me on over the phone on that that call. Yeah. yeah. Well, I I think I think it's all uh, your your camera is shaking. So it's all. Uh, but uh, before I let you go, I need to ask you just one question. Uh, so, you got married about four months ago. How much time earlier did you know your wife before marriage? I never knew. I just knew her just for a year or so. Let's say. Just for a year. Just, just for, for a year. It, it, it is an arranged marriage. It is not any love marriage. Yeah. And the, the thing that took me there was like, I made concise letters, letters of explanation. I was very concise in them. I was yeah. very clear to my point. And I never showed any property in my name. And so I even wrote an explanation for that as well. You know, yeah. why I did not have any property in my name and what was the reason of that. Everything was very concise in different letters, as well as I established my spouse relationship by just highlighting where and all I have nominated her as like in insurance and in bank accounts. I just highlighted them and I gave some photographs and yeah. that on a high quality that made them more believable made them more evident that you know we are we are genuinely mad and not for the reason of coming to canada wow. so like if uh, you can do it in a very concise manner it's easy and you can convince them i think i think aaron you can easily become an immigration consultant in telangana you don't <laughs> need to even go to canada uh, i think you you got the knack of doing it well uh, let me ask you this: What is your job in uh, in uh, India? What is what is your current profession? I am a business analyst. Business analyst. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like I like it, it's also also into software. I also do software programming side by mm. side. Like I develop Android applications and such things. So. Wow. Maybe I maybe I will need you to develop an app. Actually, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to contact people like you or somebody who can. Make an app for me, and like in Google Play, so I can use the app to interact with many people. I get close to about uh, 60 to 70 emails every day, every day, about uh, people asking questions about, you know, visas, immigration, their own stories and frustrations and deportation, and other things. I was looking for uh, some app, so maybe I'll talk to you later about any possibility. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. You can when, come back. When are you flying to in uh, Canada? 
I am flying to Richmond, so Vancouver. No, when? When is the date? date? Uh, I am flying on the 19th. As of now, I'm planning on the 19th. The no, passport hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, 19th of October. Oh, another 10 uh, days. Passport, another yeah. Okay. So well, the passport I, hasn't arrived yet from Bangalore. Okay. So it will, it will come. So I, I congratulate you one more time about, about your success. And then I also invite you uh, uh, to my house to come and meet me in Edmonton. I'm in Alberta. I'm, I am not in Vancouver. Many, many people think that the whole world lives in Vancouver. That's not true in Canada. I am in the middle part of Canada, so I'm in Alberta, which is um, a small place. But if you ever come across, pass through crisscross in Canada to pass through Alberta, I, I want you to come and, say, and, and see me and say hello. I have so many people from uh, people who got visas that I was talking to my associate in uh, mm -hmm. in Vancouver yesterday that I need to start a little uh, a Facebook club about all people who got the visas and now who are in Canada. They are close to 200 plus people who have got visas, you know, in the past, I think about two and a half years. Uh, people yeah. like you, people like you and who got house visa or investor visa or something. So I was a little club association, like a closed group. But uh, nonetheless, till the time you are, you are here, I will wait for you to give me a call when you are in Vancouver. I will also be interested. I will also be interested to find out when you come to the Vancouver airport, what is your experience? How did you how how would you react to the different things in Canada when you get out of the airport when you say welcome to Canada and then they ask you questions, they lead you and then you pass the airport and go to the see the real Canadian life and how will be your reaction and I would you know you can make some videos. I will really appreciate that. Certainly, certainly. Why not? I'll do that. I'll keep you updated on that, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for your Thank time. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.